Beckman Coulta XPN 100 Ultra Centrifuge. Turn the power on and complete log sheet. Before you begin, you must know if rotor selection is required, which rotor you're using for the run, acceleration and deceleration rate, run speed, length of time for the run, run temperature. Preheat or pre cool the rotor and samples if necessary. Start on the home page. The banner at the top of the screen will be blue to indicate ready status. Select the Set Speed Display button on the home page to go to the Set Speed page. Select the Select Rotor button to go to the Select Rotor and Labware page. Select the OK button to return to the Set Speed page. Use the keypad to set the desired speed. Select the OK key to accept your entry. Select the Accel and Decel Display button to go to the Set Acceleration Deceleration Profiles page. Select the desired acceleration and deceleration profiles. Select the OK key to accept your entries and dismiss the page. Select the Set Time Display button to go to the Set Time page. Use the keypad to set the desired time in hours and minutes. Select the OK key to accept your entry and dismiss the page. Select the Set Temp Display button to go to the Set Temperature page. Use the keypad to set the desired temperature in degrees Celsius. Select the OK key to accept your entry. Once the run values are set, prepare your samples and place them in the rotor following all proper procedures, including balanced weight distribution. Mount the rotor in the instrument following all the procedures in the rotor manual and observing all safety procedures and cautions. Close and lock the chamber door. For preconditioning, select the vacuum display button and wait until the chamber reaches the set temperature. Select the start button. The status bar at the top of the screen will be green to indicate the run status. When the timer countdown reaches zero, the instrument decelerates to the unloading speed and goes to the unloading phase. When the rotor comes to a halt, unmount it and perform all the cleanup and follow steps given in the rotor manual. 